Stranger Things 3 A Guide to the Major Pop Culture References This article contains spoilers for Season 3 of Stranger Things. See some reference, the Netflix hit Stranger Things is built on nostalgia for late 70s and 80s pop culture, including the works of Steven Spielberg, Stephen King, John Carpenter, and John Hughes. The first two seats below, we've rounded up as many of the big season 3 references from the era as we could find, most from film and television. We left out King's Back to the Future. The Blob the substance that oozes from rats and people, coming together to form the Mind Flayer is bound to remind anyone who loves monster movies of the various iterations of the Blob, especially the underrated 1988 remake starring Kevin Dillon. This 80s sitcom starring Ted Danson is watched by Joyce Winona Ryder in the season 3 premiere, and then she flashes back to watching it with her former boyfriend, the doomed Bob newbie Sean Astin, who was mauled to death by a demo dog near the end of season 2. King's stories have been the template for all three seasons of Stranger Things, so when a season is littered with ominous shots of car headlights in the dark, or a car seems suddenly to come alive in a shopping mall in episode 7, it's impossible not to think of this 1983 adaptation by Carpenter about a demonically possessed killer car. Day of the Dead Season 3 opens with a crowded screening of George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, a film that clearly worked its way through the narrative planning of the season. Both Day and Str Family Video the video store at which Robin Maya Hawk and Steve Joe Keery try to get a job at the end of the season allowed the series creators, Matt and Ross Duffer, a chance to plaster a set with posters, cardboard cutouts and VHS box art from some of their favorite movies. Out front, Fast Times at Ridgemont High The Duffer brothers have said openly that the 1982 comedy Fast Times at Ridgemont High is an influence on Stranger Things 3. Elements of the film, perhaps the cleverest callback, however, comes when Billy Dacker Montgomery Slow M.O. walks by the pool in a red swimsuit to the tune of Moving in Stereo by the Cars, an inversion of the famous poolside scene featuring Kate's Graveyard Shift One of King's early short stories, published in 1970, is about thousands of rats in an abandoned textile mill. The images of rat invasion of the body snatchers the gold standard when it comes to movies about possessed townspeople will always be Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Philip Kaufman's 1978 remake of the 1956 sci-fi film by Don Siegel. The first half of the influence of Spielberg's movies are all over Stranger Things, perhaps but for season 3, the Duffer brothers hark back to a Spielberg film from 1975 both Jaws and Stranger Things 3 feature plots that spin around the 4th of July, and both feature who don't seem to care much about the well-being of their constituents. The Karate Kid Max Sadie Sink is excited when 11 Millie Bobby Brown takes an interest in the Karate Kid star Ralph Macchio in the centerfold of a teen magazine. The Martial Arts and Magnum P.I. Jim Hopper David Harbour was watching this long-running CBS detective drama in the season premiere. The Hawaiian Sheik, Miami Vice Todd Dan Triandiflo, the fashionable gentleman whose car is commandeered by Hopper in episode 5, seems to be inspired by the hit crime series Miami Vice, based on his pastel shirt and hideous sport coat. And Hopper directly movie posters. They're everywhere this season. Mike still has a My Little Pony. Dustin proves that Erica Praye Ferguson is a nerd in episode 6 by going into detail about her fandom of this popular Hasbro toy line and cartoon series. In doing so, National Lampoon's Vacation. Dustin refers to his friends stuck back in the Star Court Mall as Griswold family, and there's an advertisement for this 1983 comedy from Harold Ramis on the counter at Family Video in the season finale. The Neve Rending Story this 1984 fantasy film from Wolfgang Peterson becomes a major part of the climax of Stranger Things 3 when Susie forces Dustin to sing the theme song before she gives him Planck's Constant, 
a figure in quantum physics that Hopper needs in order to access the Russian compound and destroy the machine causing most of this season's havoc. By Limel, Alexei calls Hopper Fat Rambo in the sixth episode. It's almost a comp- Red Dawn This 1984 Cold War action movie from John Milius, about a Russian invasion of Middle America, seems like an obvious thematic influence on season 3 given the Russian subplot. Dustin name check the stuff. Larry Cohen's bizarre satirical horror film The Stuff debuted in 1985 and features a substance that oozes and turns normal people into zombie-like creatures. Sound familiar? The Russian enforcer on the motorcycle who keeps coming for Hopper like a silent killing machine Andrei Ivchenko bears a striking resemblance to Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in James Cameron's 1984 sci-fi action thriller The Terminator. The Supernatural, The Thing We know Mike Finn Wolfhard is a fan the poster for this 1982 horror masterpiece from John Carpenter You a remake of The Thing from Another World, 1951 You has been hanging in his basement since season 1 But the movie is all Wonder Woman Max introduces Elle to Wonder Woman comic books at the start of episode 4 telling her about Princess Diana and her life in a place filled with only Amazon warrior women. Perhaps the comic, The X-Men. Dustin calls his high-powered machine Cerebro, a name check to the device used by Professor X in this Marvel Comics series to find mutants around the world. The device first of MSN are empowering women in sport this summer. Find out more of Gallery Stranger Things A reminder of where we left off before you binge Season 3 Refinery 29.